Welcome back to the Realist channel on YouTube and it is 2021. 2021 people, we are here. New decade, new entertainment, new fighters and some new fights. It's January already. I know we all remembered when Floyd announced he was fighting Logan, vice versa. And it's next month. These guys are actually fighting next month. This fight is sooner than we think. And we are all interested to see how it unfolds as ridiculous as it is. These guys are making a killing in the bank. We're suckers for it because we all care about how that fight will go. I feel like Floyd has the whole of the traditional boxing world on his back because he has to prove a point that YouTubers can take things too far, whereas Logan is in the best position possible because if he gets smacked up, he can say he got smacked up by TBE. And if he doesn't get smacked up, he can say he survived and done well against TBE. So Floyd is really putting himself in an unadvantageous position, but he's getting paid. So we got that fight coming up first and that is next month, February. Um, we'll do a predictions video and I'll do a fight night video also. I'll recreate the fight on there and see what I think, whatever happens on there, see if it can match up in real life and see if, we, if I can look like a genie and a wizard. But yeah, we'll do that and that's a fight I'm excited to see. Moving into the traditional boxing world, there's a few fights. I would like to see um, AJ versus Fury this year would be nice, either in the summer or the latter end of the year. I would wanna see these two guys fight. It's been a long time since the heavyweight division has actually been interesting and it hasn't been in Eastern Europe. We're now in a position where we got two champions who have good followings, good personalities, different personalities but both good personalities and that people will tune in to see them fight whether you're a boxing fan or not this will be one of the biggest fights in boxing history and most certainly heavyweight boxing history so we do want to see AJ versus Fury I do believe Fury wins that fight but I don't think it will be easy for him and I'm gonna watch that beginning to end Errol Spence versus Terence Crawford. Now this will be one of the most skilled fights in boxing history and also maybe one of the biggest fights but to be fair if I'm thinking about it logically Terence Crawford does not bring in that audience. He's a great fighter. I'd love to learn from him one day and be around him just to pick up a few tips. Same with Errol Spence but Errol Spence does have a better following. More people are interested in what Errol Spence is doing than Terence Crawford. Errol doesn't have to be in the ring to get attention. Crawford does. He's a very home guy, family guy. He's not interested in being a star. He's interested in being one of the best boxers ever and he's already achieved that in my opinion. So to see that fight would be huge. Numbers wise it would be huge but it's not gonna be like Mayweather Pacquiao for example even though the skill levels match up pretty much the same as a Mayweather and Pacquiao fight. I do pick that's a difficult one you know when it's announced i'll come back to it because i don't know every time i picture spence winning i see how crawford wins every time i see how crawford wins i see how spence wins so very interesting fight can't wait i repeat i can't wait to see that fight if it happens i really need that fight to happen and i know a lot of the boxing fans out there will want that fight to happen so let's see what happens with that one let's just go back away from the traditional boxing world and go back into youtube boxing and what I want to see there. I would like to see Gibb make his return to the ring. He has been through a lot in the past year after suffering his defeat to Jake Paul. And you know, the world is harsh, people are harsh. He did talk a good fight, he didn't deliver on that day. But I know, I know my boy, I know my guy, and I know he has more to show and more to prove and more to offer. I've seen the progress, he's been training, he's been focused and I expect to see some really good results from him in his next fight. Slim would be a good fight for him. Slim obviously dominated Fusey and you know is calling out a lot of people and trying to make himself some money and I feel like him and Gibb would be a great fight and then hopefully from there Gibb can move on to better things again as he does take the sport very seriously. So 
that's a fight I would like to see from the YouTube community. Straight back into the traditional boxing world, I would like to see Alexander Usyk versus either Joe Joyce or AJ. Now, I'm requesting a very hard year for AJ because I would like to see him fight Usyk in the summer because that is his mandatory for the WBO title. And then I would love to see him finish the year against Fury. So I would like to see Usyk in there against Joe Joyce, who they previously boxed in the amateur ranks um, with a more professional system. It was the WSB, for those that don't know, the World Series of Boxing would have Team GB, for example, in the Ukrainian team and in the Chinese team, and you travel around and you fight with no vest, no head guard, and it looks like pro boxing, but it really was run by Aiba and uh, um, amateur boxing governing bodies, amateur boxing basically, and you could use it as a qualifier to go to the Olympics and stuff like that. So they did box under that format and in the beginning of the fight, Joyce really did put on a good performance. His size was showing and his relentless pressure was showing, but Usyk found the angles, found the openings and started to dominate the fight around four, five, six. So very interesting fight. Another fight I would love to see, a rematch between them two or Usyk against AJ. People like to say, Usyk, oh, he's too small, he's too small, he's too small. He was Klitschko's sparring partner for years. He competed as a heavyweight, 91 plus as an amateur. So he is used to being in there with people of that size. He is now an older man who is going to put naturally put on weight and become heavier himself. So he's not too small. If he loses, it's because he loses, not because he's too small. Again, sticking in the traditional boxing world, myself, I would like to see myself fight Rashad Coulter um, because that was supposed to be my last scheduled fight and I did pull out from injury and I need people to understand it was not because of the opponent why I pulled out. Um, it was purely the injury and I need people to understand that and overstand that and the only way I can prove that is to step in the ring next against him. Um, Rashad Quarter showed amazing respect for me and I really appreciate that and I like when people show me respect because a lot of people don't because they think I come from this YouTube thing. He, he did his research, he did speak on me positively in the press conference and it was a pleasure to talk to him. However, we do have unfinished business and I need to win and I need to show people that I've tackled what I was supposed to tackle and then move on. So myself versus Rashad Coulter is another fight I would like to see this year. Moving on, finally, a lot of people said I have been talking about him a lot lately, but at the end of the day, he's doing a lot of things to talk about. like. What can I say? Jake Paul is doing a lot of things to make you talk about him and that's what he specializes in and that's what he's great at and that's what I always give him credit for is that he does keep people talking about him. Way more interesting individual than me. And so I guess I talk about him instead of talking about myself. But you know, I do a few things here and there as well. Um, I'd like to see him fight Michael Bisping. I don't want to see Dylan Dallas. I don't want to see Ben Askren. These guys are elite grapplers. They are elite grapple artists but they are not stand-up fighters they are not fighters that use their hands or use the feet very well we're talking hands only obviously because it's boxing but i'm just saying relating it to mma they do not show good stand-up ability in general so i don't want to see them even more limited against jake paul in a boxing match right because obviously they have a credibility in the combat world because they are good fighters based on their grappling. And if Jake was to beat one of these guys, then he could say, oh, I beat a real fighter. I beat Dillian Dennis. But yeah, this is not jujitsu. Boxing is not jujitsu and boxing is not collegiate wrestling. So, okay, big deal. We can't give the man props for beating people that he's clearly better than at that chosen art because he's specifically focused on boxing and they haven't. They focus on grappling. So I don't want to see this guy get tons of credit for knocking out a basketball player. I don't want to see this guy get tons of credit for knocking out a grapple artist. I want to see him against Michael Bisping. I want to see him fight Michael Bisping. Michael Bisping being from the UK, being from Manchester, did have a little bit of a um, boxing background back in the day and he has shown good stand up in his MMA career. He has shown that he can use his hands and that is somebody I would like to see fight Jake Paul instead of Ben Askren or Dylan Dennis. Michael Bisping would be the fight I'd like to see and then JJ in 2022. That would be perfect, like next two fights for Jake 
um, if I was, if I had the pleasure of making sure he fights whoever I choose, I'd say Bisping and JJ um, in 2022 or end of this year, but more so probably beginning of 2022. So that's the fights I would like to see in 2021. I'll offer predictions when these fights are actually announced and I'll also do, again, the fight night recreation um, of these fights and see if they come true but i hope you've enjoyed the video i hope you've enjoyed the channel so far we're only going to improve you know we're in lockdown right now tier four so not much we can do but we make it work however we can i'll be streaming again soon um, for the members and i'll be doing a general stream for everyone to tune in and enjoy themselves uh rolling cheeky more content will be coming from there for those that don't know that is my side channel with my boys my family and we have entertaining content coming for you guys real and wills is now available on every streaming platform so you do not have to see my ugly face alongside leon i ain't gonna call him ugly but you know uh leon's face and um <laughs> you can just listen to our voices on apple pods spotify amazon and the list goes on and if you do like us enough to watch us then the channel is available for you also the real and wills podcast so thank you for listening i appreciate you guys those are the facts i want to see in 2021 comment below what facts you would like to see and at the end of the video we always do the same thing it's the realest it will forever forever be the realest and Independent, we rock that shit. That's independent, we rock that whip. Independent, that beam on wrist. That's independent, it gleams and shit. Independent, my shades. That's independent, bands in your face. Yeah. Independent, my pay. That's independent, way I got game. Yeah. Independent, my shades. That's independent, bands in your face.